Quit! Don't you run away from that water. Quit! Stand still. Whoa! If you've been around horses, you've probably seen the guy who bathes his horse like that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and bathe this horse. This horse doesn't like to have a bath, but she's gonna have to stand still. I'm gonna tell her to quit. Don't you run away from that water. Quit! Sit, quit! Stand still. Whoa! Whoa! There, just like that. You take the pressure away. As soon as she stands still, let her know she did a good job. Just like that. When you bathe your horse, you want them to actually be as relaxed as possible. Let me show you a better way. So instead of going at your horse and just putting the full spray on them, it's so much better to actually start kind of off to the side and see how they do with that. Just so that they get a little bit of that mist, but not direct water on them. And you can see she's kind of worried about it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start on the ground by her feet. So I'm just gonna hit the ground close to her feet and it'll kind of bounce off and hit her feet. And I wanna see how she does with that first. Just kind of get her acclimated at her feet. Oh, you see her start to dance around there? I'm not gonna yank and pull on her and tell her quit. I'm just gonna kind of move with her. <clears throat> Let her know, hey, if you wanna dance around and move around, that's okay. I understand water's maybe a little bit cold. You don't like to take a bath. I wouldn't want to get sprayed down, I get it. But the moment that you do stand still, I'm gonna take a nice big deep breath. Good girl. Let her know that she made a good decision by standing still for me. Now I'm gonna go right back to it. Oh, that was better this time. She didn't go right to dancing around. And then I'll slowly work my way up, okay? So I'm gonna come over to this side too, make sure she's good. And I'll slowly work my way up. And if she starts moving again, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna be patient. I'm not gonna pull and yank on her and make her stop moving. I'm just gonna kind of float with her. <sighs> Take nice big deep breaths to help her begin to relax and let her know that there's nothing to be worried about. And when she stands nice and still for me, <sighs> oh yeah, what a good girl. Oh, what a sweet pony, yes ma'am. Yeah, and I'm gonna go right back to it, starting down at her feet, working my way up. If she moves, I'll just kind of float and drift with her. Oh, look at that. What a pony. And for a first bath for her, I'm pretty pleased. Is she standing perfect for me? Nah, not absolutely perfect, but has she made progress? Absolutely. Take your time and gradually introduce them to scary or uncomfortable things so that instead of traumatizing them, you're actually